I've been tattooed about five years, and you know, I always uh, liked to draw when I was in high school and junior high, and, and you know, it's it's art form. You know, it's permanent art. It's not like you know on a canvas or ink that can be erased. You know, it's permanent. It's a whole you know Zen kind of you know getting the the mode and start going. You know, and it's real relaxing. And you know, I mean, it's painful for them, but it's relaxing for me. You know, it's just uh, another way to you know release some stress and make some money too. Uh, actually, becoming a father really changed me a lot. You know, it's one of the greatest experiences I ever had in my life. Now I know I have more of a purpose to live for, and I, he actually fuels me to win my fights more. I think of him before I walk inside the cage. I think about, you know what, I could provide so much better for my family and for him to have a better lifestyle so he could have stuff that I didn't have when I grew up. From the outside looking in, you would think that Javi Ayala and Brandon Cash are complete opposites. But looking closer, you find two athletes cut from the same cloth, just done by different methods. Both guys had the competitive edge from early on. You know, I got into wrestling because I got in trouble when I was like in third grade. The teacher was like, well, you either wrestle or you're going to get suspended, so I wrestled. Cool, I started wrestling in seventh grade. I picked it up all the way through high school. I actually really liked it a lot. I wrestled all the way you know, through college and whatnot. Uh, played soccer. Um, football, baseball, everything pretty much is year-round. It's more like a keep me out of trouble kind of thing. I actually did track. I run the 100-meter dash. I used to throw shot put, discus. With wrestling as their foundation, both Cash and Ayala were drawn to the world of MMA. After wrestling, would kind of mess around a little bit, do a little jiu-jitsu. We didn't know what we were doing, you know what I mean? Got ankle lock a couple times, and I was like, I don't know about these little guys trying to you know, take my limbs and bend them. After I finished, you know, uh, college wrestling, I kind of got into it, moved down to Huntington and uh, tried to pursue this career. I have a teammate that's already been doing MMA for a long time, and he knew I wrestled. So he asked me, he's like, you know what, come in and check it out. And uh, I went in, I, I started doing jiu-jitsu, I really liked it a lot. Started working a lot on my striking, and then I figured, try to make it a career. In his first four fights, Habe is undefeated, including a decision win over Team Alpha Male product Freddy Aquintana. But Javi knew the only way to further his career would be to fight someone at the next level, a true veteran fighter with some name recognition. I actually got a Facebook message from uh, one of the promoters for Up and Comers. He asked me if I would like to fight for them. The crazy thing is that we were actually thinking about asking for Brandon Cash. He's a top name fighter already. He's the next level up. And uh, they brought out his name and we decided to take it. This actually means a lot for my career. You know, if I beat him, it puts my name out there. Actually, if I don't beat him and I just put on a great show, you know, and it's a real good fight, it still puts my name out there. Brandon Cash is no stranger to top-level fighters and top-level competition. He went 5-0 and before dropping his last three fights. He is looking to face someone that will bring a fight and bring the best out. I'm definitely the older, more experienced fighter. I believe I'm more well-rounded, stronger, bigger, faster. What he lacks in experience, you know, I'm sure he's going to make up for heart and he'll be in good shape and drive. So, you know, I just got to counter that by, you know, hit him on his chin, you know what I mean? Put anybody, I put anybody to sleep. I care how hard tough you are, you know, I'll put you to sleep, you go to sleep. On September 22nd, Javi Ayala will face his toughest test to date, while Brandon Cash will look to hand the young fighter his first taste of defeat at Up and Comers 12. Both fighters will be training harder than ever before knowing that they will be headlining the first MMA event at Chuck Chansey Casino in over five years. Being the main event at Chansey Casino, you know, uh, I don't put too much pressure on myself, you know, but there is, you know, I'm being the main event, the last fight of the show, and I want them to remember that. I was real nerve-wracking being my first time being a main event. Uh, I trained hard, you know, I've, this is the level I want to be at. I want to be nothing but main events from now on. What I know about Javi is uh, he trains out of Porterville at a smaller camp. I heard it's pretty, you know, grueling camp over there. I heard, you know, they have some uh, harsh conditions over there. So I said, it's gonna make him tough. It's gonna make him have heart. So that's gotta take the heart out of him. He's a real strong power puncher. He's a, he's a real good stand-up fighter. So I've been working a lot on my takedowns and uh, a lot on my stand-up. I've been working a lot on boxing, a lot of jiu-jitsu. As I've seen, he lost his, his only three fights by submission. So hopefully I can do the same. Up and Comers 12 is poised to bring fireworks to Chuck Chansey Casino with a main event pitting an undefeated rising star against a veteran looking to revitalize his career 
One thing is for certain, on September 22nd, both fighters will be bringing it. Uh, the fans can expect a real dogfight. It's going to be a real war out there. You know, I know he's been training hard. I've been training hard. You know, it's going to be a, a good battle. You know, September 22nd, you know, expect the best from me. Blood, sweat, tears, not mine, but his. And a uh, knockout, submission, whatever, TK, I just want to do damage. I want to hurt him, I want to put him away, and I want to, you know, make a statement that I'm back. Don't miss Up and Comers 12 Turning Point at Chuck Chansey Casino, a talent-filled pro-am show headlined by a heavyweight matchup between Pave Ayala and Brandon Cash. Get your tickets by visiting upcunlimited.com for more information. Up and Comers 12, Ayala versus Cash.